for me. It's horrible and it's bad for kids in Colorado. They're struggling with it. Recent CSAP stores, as a matter of fact, as I look at the right camera, <laughs> show little or no improvement on the subject. Yeah, I know. So yeah. the point is throughout the holidays, it can be very tough to keep mm -hmm. your kids focused on school when their main point is to yeah. get school off the brain. But parents, you can actually help. Yeah, and here to tell us how parents can help a former Cherry Creek school teacher and mother of three, as I look at the right camera, <laughs> she's, she's changing the way that kids think about math. Wendy Miller, founder of Munchkin Math, joins us this morning. I love that name. Thank you. So that's the big question. How do you get kids excited about math? Um, our program works with the words and terminology that kids hear in math, and um, there are so many words in math that kids come across that they actually struggle with where parents could help them at home. So we're going to go through some of those today. Um, we're going to start talking about shapes, and sometimes the word congruent will come up. Mm -hmm. And there are many activities that um, parents can do with their kids at home to talk with them and plug that word in so they can become more and more comfortable with the terms at home so when they come to school, math becomes a breeze. So mm. congruent mm. is just the same shape, the same size. Mm -hmm. All right. So the, parents, so the parents don't have to be math whizzes themselves. Absolutely not. And okay. if they go to our website, which is munchkinmath.com, they can click on a parent link, and mm -hmm. we list a ton of ideas for parents to do at home with their kids. And so um, our program is based on songs, raps, and chants, and hand motions. So we're all going to do this together. Oh my gosh. Um, so you mentioned there would be some cheering involved. Yes. So we're going to say congruent means, and then you're going to make a triangle, and we say okay. same shape, same size. Are you ready? Okay. okay. Congruent, congruent means same, same shape, same, same size. size. And then at the end, you're going to say rotations. Okay, you guys. Ready? Okay. Rotations. Okay, okay, you guys. All right. Moms at home, put the laundry down. Just a quick second. We're going to try it together. It goes like this. Okay. Congruent, congruent means same, same shape, same <laughs> size. <laughs> Rotations, okay, you guys. So basically, <laughs> basically on a test, kids could see two, like a rhombus and a rhombus, and then one could be turned, and that tricks kids. They'll say, "Is this congruent?" And kids will say, "No." When in actuality, it is congruent. Right. Parents, there's so many things you can do at home. You can, when you're getting um, plates out of the dishwasher, you can say, "All right, which plate is congruent to this one?" And just plug the word congruent in for same shape, same size, and then the kids can point to the other plate. So it's um, almost like you have to try and turn the everyday things, the chores that parents have to do, into almost a, not only are we doing the dishes, but we're, we're keeping the kids kind of focused and their brains activated. Absolutely. So dump out the Legos and say, can you find a congruent Lego to this one, you know, and match them up. Now the problem is a lot of times parents think their kids know their shapes already, mm -hmm. and congruent is tested with shapes. What we find is kids really know triangle, circle, square, and rectangle. Mm -hmm. Those those aren't the ones they're tested on in elementary school. They're tested on heptagon, rhombus, trapezoid, pentagon. Oh. If you wonder, if you th if you're not sure if your kids know their shapes or not, go to our website. Ask them if they know those shapes. We have that really fun shapes DVD oh, that they can pick up. It's 20 minutes long, and they will know all the shapes they need to know in elementary school. What well, sounds like bottom so, line is keeping it fun and interesting, and not talking a lot about oh I hated math when I was in school and it no. math is hard. <laughs> I guess you shouldn't say all that, huh? No, math is fun. Okay. Math is fun. You know, and you can have the kids go outside with a ruler and measure the snow today and learn a little bit about math that way as That's well. Absolutely. And go to that website, munchkinmath.com. There's a list of activities for parents to do with their kids at It home. almost seems like these kids are be ready to balance the checkbook before the vacation <laughs> season tomorrow. is even over. By tomorrow. Fantastic. Great information just in time for the holidays. That's right. M uh, Wendy Miller is her name. And if you'd like more information on Munchkin Math, visit my Fox Colorado. Look for the links page under the Good Day icon. Wendy, thanks for joining thanks. us. Thanks. Keep practicing those songs. Yeah, yeah I know. Because I didn't get it. We have a lot to learn ourselves. <laughs> thanks, this would Wendy. teach parents, you know, because we forget <laughs> a lot of the stuff. That, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Well, in our spotlight on fitness, I think if your thighs are congruent, that's a good thing. <laughs> but working off that turkey dinner, oh my goodness. That's a whole oh, nother bag whole of worms. Other congruent. So what we wanted to know, is there a way to cut down on the calories for Thanksgiving?